everyone, welcome back to Riker Rides. Today we're doing an install from Show Chrome. Um, I have a lot of great accessories for them on my bike, and this is going to be one more I'm adding. Is this awesome clear windshield? Uh, I sell it on my website. Um, you can either get it in clear or tinted. I like clear um, so I can record, and I like for the visibility aspect of it. But you can order it in tinted as well. Um, what I like about it is it's one solid piece. Um, I've had other two other windshields that I've done reviews for uh, and my latest was from Can-Am and it was their big windshield and I did like it a lot but the only problem I had with it was that the two pieces that it had it was constantly dirty on the inside and I'm obsessed about keeping my windshield clean and it always bothered me I, it was so hard to get in that second area so I do like this one piece aspect and it's gonna go right here in front so uh, it, because I saw it on my website, I like to test it out. So if you're seeing this, it's because I've ridden with it for a while and I actually enjoy it. And um, if not, I wouldn't post the video. So without further ado, let's get to installing and hopefully it's a very easy install, but let's do it together and figure it out. Come on. All right, step number one is you're gonna be using these, you're gonna be putting in four of these little um, M6 by 30 millimeter studs. So what we're gonna do is, this is kind of the only part that's a little tricky because you wanna make sure each one, it's gonna go in these holes right here. I'm gonna start on the left side, which is this side right here, Justin. My nice, very giving son is here to help me. Say hi, Just. Hello. All right, so the thing is you wanna make sure they're on each side they're in at the exact same length because if not it'll be a tougher adjustment later so you kind of want to visually look at it i mean if you have a nice measuring thing um does it look pretty even to you just mm -hmm. the top one is further than the bottom one all right that look good a little bit more top top one yeah how about that? Just another turn? Well, one, a just, couple yeah. more, sorry. Keep going. Maybe no, top, top one. Top one's still ahead of it. Yeah, that's good, that's perfect. Okay, all right, so now that that's even. All right, so we're putting on this nut and we're doing the flange side out. So we're gonna be putting it on like this. Then we're using this rubber washer, um, which is called a nylon spacer. I'm gonna put on the bottom one only, so it's gonna look like this, okay? And now we're gonna repeat the steps and do the exact same thing on the other side. This really could not be any easier if you ask okay. me. Um, All right, you do wanna tighten these up a little bit. Next, we're going to install the mount. There is going to be a right side and a left side mount. And the picture that comes with it, the diagram that comes with um, the instructions, it makes it very clear. Um, so this is going to go. So the right side, it's always when you're sitting on the bike. So this is the right side sitting on the bike. And then this is gonna be the left side. So it's gonna look like this. Now we're gonna install the left bracket and it's quite easy to do. So we're going to put it on just like that. And if you notice right here, that's where you have the flexibility of if you want it, your windshield tilted or not. Can you see that? So when you put it on, before you tighten the bolts, you want to decide whether or not you want your windshield kind of tilted a little bit or this way. I'm going to do mine tilted actually, because I think that's better for aerodynamics. So I'm going to put the first bolt on. I'm going to come through and tighten those up. 
after it's all on. The bottom one's going to get a washer, a small washer. These fall out of your hands quite easily, so be careful with that. So again, I, I adjusted mine so it's forward facing, so it's tilted. And now I'm gonna install the other one the exact same way. Okay, after they're on, you're gonna wanna go through and tighten them up. This might not fit in there. We're gonna have to use um, And again, I'm using a 10 millimeter socket. There you go, much better. Oops. Much easier. Perfect. Now we're gonna put the windshield on. Yay. Now the windshield is gonna have, they're all gonna have washers on them. So let me just put these in my pocket. Hopefully they all line up and it looks like they do. If they don't line up, so for some reason you put on your windshield and the holes don't line up, it just means you need to make an adjustment either on these bolts or the tilt of your, of your brackets. All right, it's gonna be the screw, the washer, and then it's gonna go into there. And then the nut is going to go on the other side. I'm just going to finger tighten it right now. You do not want to over tighten these. If you over tighten them, there's a good chance you will crack your windshield. So please do not over tighten. You want to tighten them just so, again, that's going to be the washer, then the, the screw. I'm gonna wiggle it around till it gets in there. This one doesn't wanna play. This one actually I had to screw in for some reason. the other side hopefully it all lines up and it gives you very specific cleaning instructions do not use Windex do not use anything like that um, you want to use acrylic safe um, washer cleaner see this this isn't lining up okay so to learn from my mistakes or to kind of help you guys let me show you what I did so this was not lined up so all I did, and this is a huge, huge help, hopefully for people, is I loosened up these two bolts and made it that I can work around these. So now what I'm gonna do is to line these up, I'm going to, before tightening these, this is super helpful. I wish I, someone told me this earlier. <laughs> I'm just gonna put these in, they work perfectly, it's so great. Um, I'm gonna put the, the back bolt on there. Ah, oh, hold on. See, they're so slippery. All right. Okay, I'm gonna put the back bolts on there. Then we do the next one. This makes it super easy. That's why I leave all my mistakes in my videos so you guys can learn from them. All right, so after you kind of make those wiggle and those adjustments, it should go in perfectly, but it, it, it does take a little bit of finesse to get it right. And then now, I really like the look of this a lot. So now you just want to go through and you want to tighten everything, but 
you really want to tighten it just a little bit. Um, you don't want to over tighten anything because it really will put too much pressure on the windshield. So you just want to do it so it's a little bit tight, but do not, do not, I can't stress it enough, do not over tighten anything. And then we go through and remember we loosen these. So now we need to tighten them up again. These you can make a little bit tighter. They're not gonna hurt the windshield. This is gonna be a tough one to tighten because um, we lost the uh, wiggle room space, actually. And also very important to know that your, where your glove box opens and closes no problem. And this will actually get you a little bit more room to tighten this up. finish tightening everything up and that's it hope you guys enjoy the windshield as much as I am going to and I really like the height let's see how it looks sitting on the bike I, I love the height I love I, I think it's absolutely perfect I love that it's one solid piece it'd be super easy to keep clean and See you guys on the open road. I'm gonna take all this off, make a better. Uh... I'm gonna go clean it up. That's it. Bye, right, guys. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you, Justin, for helping me out. Thank you, Show Chrome. And I'll see you later. As always, ride safe and have fun. Bye, everyone.